Hello everyone. As part of clinical SAS programming in Adam datasets creation, we create ADSL dataset. And in ADSL dataset, we derive some key date variables. In this video, we will see how to derive one key date variable, which is RFICDT. And we'll see how the specification will generally be written for that variable. And we'll also see how to manually try to identify the record specified for that derivation and we will also see how to programmatically derive it. So let us see the derivation for RFICDT. Here it is mentioned that using DS dataset get RFICDT as the numeric of date part of DSSTDTC. So we know that in SDTM datasets the dates are in character format and they are organized in ISO 8601 format and we will have both date and time components in a single variable. So here the specification is mentioning that we only need to extract the date part from that DSSTDTC and also convert it into numeric format. And it is also specifying this condition which is use this DSSTDTC on the record where DSCAT is equal to protocol milestone the ds cat that we need to consider is protocol milestone and it also specified that ds s cat is equal to informed consent obtained and also the ds decode value of subject informed consent has to be used so technically we will have to use the records which made this filter condition and get the value present in ds stdtc of that record and apply the transformation and convert it into RFICDT. So let us take a look at the data for this scenario. So when we are creating ADSL dataset, our SDTM DM dataset becomes a base dataset onto which we add some additional variables. So let us take this example, like on this screen, we only have some data shown only uh, which is required for this example so we only need use of jd from demographics data set so i kept only that single column and for rficdt we needed ds data set let's take a look at the ds data set so we have one record per disposition event or per protocol milestone per subject in disposition data set so we have been given a filter condition which was DS cat is equal to protocol milestone. So let us try to manually filter the records with the specified filter condition. So DS cat had both disposition event and protocol milestone. So we were asked to use only the records with DS cat is equal to protocol milestone. So I am applying this filter. So some records have come now. And then the second part of the filter condition was DS S cat is equal to protocol informed consent update. So let us apply that additional filter on DSS cat variable. So the second condition was informed consent obtained. So let us apply that. And then the third condition said DSD code is equal to subject informed consent. So let us also try to apply that filter and see. Now we have three records one record per each subject so we have seen in our demographics data set we had three subjects 1001 1002 and 1003 and in disposition data set we had we have we now have three records after the specified filter conditions have been obtained so we were also told that dsstdtc has to be used as input for our rf icdt variable so this is in character format we need to uh, and again there is no time component collected on these rows so again if it was collected we are supposed to extract only the date component and then convert it into numeric format so what will be the dates for these irficdt for these three subjects so it will be 29 September 2011 for first subject, 14 November 2011 for second subject and 14 September 2011 for third subject. So let us just try to copy this over and put in this sheet which is actually. So let's assume that we have done the transformation. So we have identified the 
informed consent date for the three subjects so we have applied the specified filter conditions and then assuming that we have transformed this value into a numeric date value so now let us see how to programmatically fetch this information uh, to populate in ADSL data set so here I am taking the disposition data set and filtering the record specified using a where statement the first part of the filter condition was based on dscat which was supposed to be protocol milestone we did that and dsscat is equal to informed consent obtained and then dsd code is equal to subject informed consent obtained so we will get only the required records when we run this piece of code and after that what was supposed to be done so on the selected records we were supposed to extract only the date component from the dsstdtc so i am using sub str function so and extracting the first 10 characters from that variable so if we have both date and time collected so from 11th character the time portion would start the 11th character in fact would be a letter t which indicates that time portion begins so i am extracting the first 10 character which would mean that i am extracting only the date component and then I am using input function to convert it into numeric format. We know that in ISO format the date is organized in terms of four digit year followed by two digit month followed by two digit day with a hyphen in between and the two overall width of the date would be 10 characters. So we are using an in format of yymmdd10 dot to convert the extracted date portion into numeric format and we are extracting the date only when the DSSTDTC is not null or not missing. So the extracted date or the numeric converted date would actually appear in terms of number of days from version 1960 if we do not apply any format to the newly created variable. So that becomes a little unreadable. So we are applying a format called our, uh, date 9 to RFICDT. So let us try to run this and see how it looks like. So we have our output data. So we have the date converted and it is a numeric variable now and we have applied a format of date 9 for it. The date 9 format displays the date in terms of two digit or single digit day followed by three character month followed by four digit year. So we have seen how we got that number manually uh, in the excel file so the same three dates we have 29 september 14th november and 14th september for the three subject so now all that we need to do is like bring this variable back into our demographic data set so for that what we can do is write a simple merge step so we can just sort both the data sets maybe we can add another sort step for our RFICDT as well. RFICDT so that both the data sets are sorted based on the values present in U sub JD and we are merging both these data set using data step merge statement with U sub JD on the by variable and we are keeping all the records for subjects who are present in DM01. If by any chance if there is a subject who is not present in uh, this data set with the filter condition provided we would still have a record for that subject in ADSL because we are pulling the records for all subjects who are present in DM01 and for such subjects RFICDT would be null. So let's run this entire piece of code and then see how our ADSL01 looks like. So we had U sub JD only in the DM data set to which we have added a new variable which is RFICDT. So this is how we derive some key date variables in ADSL. So in, an, in the next video we will see how to derive some other key date variables.